thinking. Yes, my mug is popping. Yes, I'm part of the rainbow gang. We'll be at your front door. You feel me? Christmas ho ho ho. Why do I have no fucking sense? Like, I hate myself. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to a Broke Girls channel. We are slaying on a Broke Girls budget. You already know. It's your girl, Taylor Bay. And I cut me hold up. Already know. What the fuck? Sorry. Sorry. Today, as you can see from the title, we're gonna do a affordable, we're gonna do an affordable holiday glam look today. Now, today I'm gonna start with a little bit of skincare, only because when I get um ready for like Whenever I'm getting ready like to go out like to the club or to a party or if I'm going you know to a Thanksgiving event or if I'm going to like a Christmas event with my family I always typically do some like extra skincare steps just to make sure my skin is like extra ass popping. Oh girl! Oh girl! So I've already washed and exfoliated my face and spritzed my face with a little bit of rose water. Um, so typically if I know that I want my makeup to look really good I need my skin to be popping as hell. Okay I need my skin to be Popping. So I typically like to do like a really good face mask. So today I'm gonna use the Lap Coast Pearl Brightening Face Mask. This face mask is three dollars, so we're still with the affordability here, okay? I'm just I'm gonna open that up. Now there's like a lot of like the solution. There's like a lot in here, like a shit ton. So this one's for brightening, just because I do want my skin to look like pretty bright and vibrant and things like that. And then the solution that's on here, whenever you take it off, you're supposed to massage it into your skin. It feels so good on the skin. And I kind of like to smooth it out and like press it into my skin just to make sure that I'm getting like all the goodies. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. So we're gonna peel this off. Um, now what I like to do is just kind of like a massage the gunk in there because honestly I feel like it makes for a really good moisturizer. Okay, so now that we've had that all massaged in the skin, you should be feeling real smooth. And I like the fact that it even leaves a little tacky feel because I feel like it's going to make my foundation stick. Okay, so for primer, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, I got mine at Walmart. They're like $6. And I kind of just apply that to the center of my face where my pores are the most prominent. Because we all got time for no pores to be shining through. Shining, 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 yeah, shining, yeah. All right, it's been in. For foundation, I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation 2-in-1 in the shade Tan. I think this is like $9. I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe E6 brush. I feel like this sits so nice on the skin. Like I'm just going to smooth it over with this Real Technique sponge. I think everybody knows about these. They're like, what, six bucks? All right, so now that we have the foundation on the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. For eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Precisely Micro Brow Crayon. If you guys wanna see how I do my eyebrows, I do have a video of how I do my natural eyebrows and my Instagram brow. I'll put it somewhere on the screen, just click the card above and you'll see that routine. All right, so I went ahead and finished my brows and primed my lids off camera. So for the eyes, we're first gonna start off with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 palette. These colors in here are so freaking beautiful and they literally scream fall, holiday, poppin' ass, smoky eyes. So here we are. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this palette is like $10, so this might be the most expensive thing in today's video. I'm also gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer as well. Okay, so now that we're a little bit too close for comfort, we're gonna take this shade right here. It's like a light brown shade that's gonna be our transition shade. Next, I'm gonna take this orange shade. We're gonna put that right under our transition shade and a little bit more into my actual crease. Okay, now we're gonna do a half cut crease. I'm just gonna cut my crease using that same Maybelline concealer. We're just gonna go back into that orange shade and re-intensify the crease because I feel like we lost it. Now on the outermost edge of the crease, we're going to take this plum shade and we're just going to tuck that and fade in um, that light part where the concealer is. Now right above where we cut that crease, I'm just going to take this brown shade on a very small detailed brush just to deepen it up a little bit just because I want a little drama. 
So first I'm gonna go under my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium. Now with this concealer, you have to let it sit for a little bit just so that you can get like a little extra coverage out of it. Sitting, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa. This stuff is like freaking three bucks. And we're just gonna contour a little bit. Now I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Cody Airspun Powder in Suntan. Now I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Better Skin Face Powder in the shade 80. For the lower lash line, I'm just going to take a mixture of this purple shade and this brown shade and I'm just going to tuck that in my lower lash line. For bronzer, I'm going to take the NYC Color Wheel in All Over Bronze Glow. And then to contour, you already know what I'm about to use. My e.l.f. contour kit. I'm going to take the two bottom shades. I'm just going to contour like super easily. For blush, I'm going to take the Milani Powder Brush in this shade T Rose. This is literally my favorite blush in the world. It's just so freaking flattering. I even bring it like really high up there just because it's just really flattering. I feel like it adds so much color to my face. Okay, so I'm going to do my liner and lashes off camera really quick. And then we're going to come back and do highlight and lips. Okay, I am back with liner and lashes. Literally made this whole look. Um, so next we're going to do highlighter. We're going to use a new found favorite of mine. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powders. This is in the shade Precious Petals. You guys, this is popping, okay? First, I'm gonna apply it to my inner tear ducts and then my brow bone, and then we'll do it on the cheeks. Next, I'm just gonna spray my Morphe E61 brush with some rose water. Like, that is crazy. This, it's like fucking, it's, this shit is $4, like, First, I'm going to spritz my face with some Maria Badesco water, and then afterwards, I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last. So for lips, I'm going to line my lips using the NYX Lip Crayon in the shade Deep Purple, but it looks more like a burgundy. And then for the actual lips, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go put on my new wig and then I'll be back to do the outro. <laughs> Alright, everybody, and I'm back! This wig is a synthetic wig that I bought on Amazon that I cut, plucked, and styled myself. But thank you so much, you guys, for watching this tutorial. It was my affordable version of a holiday glam paired with a nice red lip, a little half cut crease, a little blonde wig to show up your cousin again on this good day because of course you saw them on thanksgiving but then there has to be a christmas celebration so therefore you have to show up your cousins again okay because you know your cousins are gonna come hard so you have to come for your cousins okay real spill um so thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial i love you guys so much there will be a another tutorial coming soon you guys we are back in full effect um, make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. They're always linked down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, like, I can't even bang with you. Like, we can't even be cool if you haven't subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!